Hello students, this is Dr. Sirajuddin again and I am here with the second lecture of the weed management series and today we will be starting weed classification. So the first classification which we are going to discuss today is based on the lifespan of the weeds or what we call ontogeny of weeds. So without much ado, let us start this lecture. As you can see in this slide that weeds are classified in three categories mainly on the basis of lifespan and ontogeny. And these are annual weeds, biennial weeds and perennial weeds. Now you can see from this slide that annuals are also referred as seasonals, biennials are referred as biseasonals and perennials are referred as multi-seasonals. So if we look at the flow chart, so annuals, they are further, you know, divided into three categories, summer annuals, rainy season annuals and winter annuals, then bi biennials and biseasonals, and then again perennials and the multi-seasonals, they have been categorized in two categories based on the usual mode of reproduction and based on the depth of the root system. So if you see, based on the usual mode of reproduction, we have three types, simple perennials, creeping perennials and woody perennials. But in case of, you know, depth of root system, we have two categories here, shallow rooted perennials and deep rooted perennials. So moving on, let us take one by one. Now, annual weeds. So as the name suggests that these are those weeds which live only for a season or a year and they, they complete their life cycle in that season or year and that is why they are referred as annual. And these weeds, you know, usually germinate, grow and produce seeds within a season or year and then die up. Now, if we look at the absolute sense of this, you know, uh, this classification, then you can see that these annual weeds do not take more than a season under the Indian situation and our situations in the India are subtropical situations. So they even mature slightly earlier than or simultaneously with the respective crop within a season. And therefore, it would be appropriate to call them as seasonal rather than annuals. Now, they produce, you know, they produce seeds in profession and the mode of propagation is commonly through the seeds. Now, moving on. As I told you that these annuals or seasonals, they have been categorized into three categories, summer annuals, rainy annuals and winter annuals. And you need to remember the names of the weeds or the examples of each category. Now you see in the summer annuals, we have Ageratum conizoids, then we have Amaranthus viridis or Amaranthus spinosus, then we have Digera arvensis, then Digitaria species, then Dactylotinium egyptium and etc. Whereas in case of rainy annuals, you can see Amaranthus hybridus, Comelina mangalansis, Borvia erecta, Citeria glauca and Trianthema monogyna and Trianthema portula castrum. And in case of winter annuals, Chinopodium album, Phalaris minor, Avena fetua, Avena ludoviciana and Melilotus species and so on. And mind it dear, that aapko saare ke saare examples yaad karne hai. Kyunki aksar hota kya hai ki agar jab competitive exam ke liye jate hai, to in me se koi bhi ek example aap se wo utha ke pooch lega aur poochega whether it is summer annual, whether it is rainy annual or winter annual. To agar aapko ek bhi nahi yaad hai, to aap maap pe ja ke fuss jayenge. To isse better hai ki aap saare ke saare ko apne yaad kar liye. Now moving on, we have biennials. And as I told you, biennials are also referred as biseasonals. So, you know, these weeds, you know, complete the vegetative growth in the first season and they flower and set seeds in the succeeding season and then die. For example, in case of, uh, you know, cropland areas, we have Tribulus terrestris, Chicorium intibus, Circeum vulgare and Senecio jacobia. So these are basically found in the croplands. Then if we talk of the non-cropped areas, then we have Altenanthera echinata and Daucus carota. And mind it, this is one question that always comes most of the competitive exams. Mein, ki 
आपको कोई भी एक यू नो एग्जाम्पल वो दे देगा या फिर आपको कोई भी कैटेगरी दे देगा कि इनमें से कौन सा बाइनल वीड है तो मोस्टली मैंने सारे ही कवर अप करने की कोशिश की है इसमें तो आपको ये सारे के सारे जितने भी छः मैंने वीड्स आपको बाइनल्स में बताया वो आपको याद करने हैं देन इफ यू लुक एट दी पैरनियल वीड्स तो पैरनियल वीड्स नाम से ही पता चल जा रहा है दैट दे ग्रो फॉर मोर देन टू ईयर्स बिफोर दे विदर अवे और डाय अप सो दे फ्लावर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द सेकेंड ईयर एंड यू नो लाइक फॉर देन दे फ्लावर ईच ईयर रेगुलरली सॉरी फॉर द इनकनवीनियंस लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस पैरनियल वीड्स अगेन सो बेसिकली दे ग्रो फॉर मोर देन टू ईयर्स बिफोर दे विदर अवे और डाय अप then they flower for the first time in the second year of their growth and then they flower each year regularly and grow indefinitely from the same root system now they are very adaptive so they you know they are adapted to the you know to withstand the adverse conditions of the climate and they propagate not only through the seeds but also by the underground stem roots rhizomes tubers and other vegetative parts now as we know that these perennial weeds further classified into two categories so let me take up the first one the perennial weeds which are based on the usual mode of reproduction so in that we have three categories as i have already told you the first one is simple perennials to ye bahut samajhna zaruri hai ki simple perennials ka aakhir matlab kya hai aur ye bhi regularly question pucha jata hai iske examples bhi puche jate hain so always remember as for simple as for seed तो जितने भी पैरेनियल्स हैं जिनका रिप्रोडक्शन प्रीडोमिनेंटली किससे हो सीड से हो सो दे आर बेसिकली कॉल्ड सिंपल पैरेनियल्स सो दीज आर दी पैरेनियल्स बट रिप्रोड्यूस प्रीडोमिनेंटली बाय द सीड्स एंड हैव नो नेचुरल मींस ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग वेजिटेटिवली अनलेस इंजर्ड और कट सो इन दिस कैटेगरी वी हैव सॉन्कस आरवेंसिस रॉडबोलिया कोचिन चाइनेसिस देन टेरेक्सिकम ऑफिसनेल टेरेक्सम वलगे र्यूमेक्स स्पेशीज Oxalis latifolia, Lantana camera, and Plantago lanceolata. So you see, I have given more than two or three examples. Why? Because it is essential to remember all of these. Now moving on, the second category is creeping perennials. So creeping perennials basically they are reproduced through seeds as well as with one of the falling. So these seeds se to kar bhi sak, apne aap ko reproduce kar sakte hai, but there are vegetative you know propagation. Or uh, you know, propagating materials are involved in this. So first form like rhizome, the plants which are having underground stem. So in this category, we have example sorghum halifrons. We have stolon like plants having horizontal creeping stem above the ground. In this category, we have cynodon dactylin. Then roots, the plants having enlarged root system with the numerous buds. In this, we have convolvulus arvensis. and in the case of tubers the plants which are having modified rhizomes adapted for storage of food in this we have cypress root in this moving on the third category in this uh, classification is woody perennials so basically they grow continuously and consistently over the seasons or years and have annual growth increment as per compound interest law you know which give rise to the woody biomass stems and branches and in this we have you know examples prosopis juliflora prosopis cinerea and uh, lantana camera now again the <clears throat> perennial weeds they have been classified based on the depth of root system so they have been categorized into two categories shallow rooted perennials and deep rooted perennials so in case of first one the roots and rhizomes basically lie normally in the Furrow lies within the fifteen centimeter or six inches depth of the agricultural soil. So in this category, we have Cynodon dactylin and Agropyron repens. In case of deep rooted perennials, as name suggests, that their root, you know, their roots go deeper even beyond one meter depth, and the perennating structure lie very deep in the soil. And in this category, we have Sorghum halifrons, Alagi camelorum. and cypress rotundus and fuchsia lanceolata so dear this was all about the classification of the weeds on the basis of life span and ontogeny of weeds i hope aapko ye samajh mein aaya hai and you need to memorize each and every example of the weeds theek hai as per the 
क्लासिफिकेशन आई नो इट इज अ बिट डिफिकल्ट टू मेमोराइज बट अगर आप करेंगे कोशिश तो बेसिक आपको बहुत कम समय में ये सारी चीजें याद हो जाएंगी ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एग्री टूटोरियल एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड डू शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच